Today I'm going to complete a differential service on this 1989 Mercedes-Benz W201 chassis 190E 2.6 automatic sedan. I'm going to drain the differential oil, replace it with new, and replace the drain and fill plugs with new drain and fill plugs from Mercedes-Benz. Let's go ahead and get this car up in the air, take a look. All right, with the car up in the air, let's take a look at the differential. On the driver's side, we have the fill plug right over here. We're gonna to wanna to remove that first. And on the other side here, we have the drain plug. Uh, we'll remove that second. Now, your car is gonna be different. Uh, somebody did horrible things to my exhaust. Uh, from what I've been told, if you have an actual exhaust over here, this can be pretty difficult to get to. So mine's easy, but it is gonna make an enormous mess. So I'm gonna try and cover this up so it doesn't just burn off for, for years. Um, but before I do any of this, I'm going to clean the differential up. It's pretty dirty, especially over here on this fill side. I don't want any nonsense getting into the differential uh, when I have it open. So I'll go ahead and get to work getting this cleaned up and then I will work on cracking these open. So we did some pretty good scrubbing here. Uh, and it's far from perfect, but it is a ton better than it was. Uh, I think I could clean on this for another hour and it would still be pretty gross, but I'm happy for now. One of the things that I focused on was I got all the junk out of the Allen bolt because you don't want that to strip. You want it to be super clean so you can get a good seat uh, on both sides. Now, something that I did, I've been scrubbing a lot on this car uh, and you can see just how much gross stuff came off of this differential. Um, the method that has worked for me, and I've had some trial and error, you can scrub however you want, uh, but I started with like a paint scraper to get a lot of the big stuff off. Um, and I would just cover it in uh, an engine degreaser. And then I went to one of these picks. This is like a Harbor Freight, like 25 cent kind of guy. And this has got like a, almost a right angle. Uh, and I would use that to really get in there and like push as well as to pick kind of in the tight spots. Uh, and that was pretty useful for me. Uh, and then I found once that I got most of the gunk off, I could really coat it in the degreaser and then use one of these nylon bristle brushes. Uh, the only problem with this is it does fill up pretty fast. So um, I was using both the pick uh, as well as paper towels to try and clean it out as much as I could. Uh, but I really found that if I sprayed the area and I sprayed the brush, I could really get a lot of nasty out of there. So it worked for me. Uh, maybe it'll work for you. Maybe you've got a better method. Let me know what you think. Um, so now we are ready to remove the fill plug and then the drain plug on the other side. Uh, so let's take a look at what we're going to use. All right, this is a pretty simple job. Um, what we've got here is uh, a couple of tools. Uh, first of all, I have a 14 millimeter Allen socket. Um, the factory manual actually recommends this tool. This is a hazet wrench. This is a copy of the Mercedes factory tool. It's got a 14 millimeter Allen on the end. Uh, these are hard to find. And honestly, uh, you're gonna have to torque anyway. So I like the Allen socket. Uh, I've got a half inch uh, socket. I have a half inch ratcheting breaker bar. And then for later, I've got a uh, torque wrench to get everything back to tight. Um, I do have a copy of the, the page here that gives me all the information that I need uh, for our 201 cars. This is going to be 7 tenths of a liter or 0 0.74 quarts uh, that needs to go back in. We're going to torque it to 50 newton meters uh, on both plugs uh, or 36.9 foot pounds uh, thereabouts. <laughs> Um, to get everything filled back in, uh, I've got a, just a regular old pump. Uh, you can get these at the grocery store, the parts store. They're a couple dollars. I went to the Mercedes dealer today and I bought two brand new plugs. Um, these don't have a gasket, a crush gasket. They actually have like a, a sealer, kind of like a Teflon tape kind of sealer on there. So I went ahead and just bought new ones. You never know if, uh, the ones that you're taking out have been stripped or are, are no good. So I always like having new ones. The manual also calls for a 90 weight hypoid gear oil. 
um, it says SAE 90 or an 85 weight 90. 85 weight 90 is pretty hard to find these days. Um, I've had good success with 75 weight 90 and this kind of stuff before. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got two partial quarts because uh, actually I think both of these are full. I just opened them uh, prematurely a couple of years ago for a different project. So I'm going to go ahead and use at least one now. The idea is uh, we will pump a uh, pump the fluid in until it runs out of the fill plug and that should be about uh, 0.74 quarts. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've got this cracked open. It is dripping like most gear oil. It smells like really, I don't know, it's a holy terror, uh, awful, awful smell. But it's dripping, so while it's dripping, let's take a look at this. Uh, I just wanted to point out here, we've got our old plug and we've got our new plug. You can see just how nasty this old plug is. You can also see they don't go in all the way, so it's pretty pretty dirty. Inside of here is just gross and burnt. Um, this other one looked like it still had a little bit of sealant on it. Uh, maybe it's wiped off at this point. But, um, you know, these are fine as far as they're not stripped, all that. Yours are probably going to be the same way. They've likely never been changed or maybe just once uh, in the lifetime. But these are, uh, I kid you not, I went to the Mercedes dealer today. They were $4 a piece. And that's not a whole lot of money for a nice new part, something that you know is going to seal, that's going to work. If you look around online, you find them for about 4 bucks. I think I saw one as, as cheap as like three twenty-five. It's negligible. Eight dollars to do the job right. It uh, it's worth it to me at least. So you may be able to clean these guys up. You may be able to reseal them with, I don't know, some kind of Teflon tape or some kind of pipe sealant. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a Mercedes recommendation out there uh, for that. But I just went with new ones. I know they're going to work. I know it's going to be great. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish draining, and then we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain plug, torque it to spec, mark it. And then we'll go about pumping some new fluid in. Right, so I wanted to show real quick what I had here. I've got the new plug reinstalled. Um, got it torqued to 50 Newton meters, which honestly, as I was putting it in, felt like uh, more than I thought it was. So again, torque wrench is a great thing to have. Uh, make sure you're doing it right. I can also say with certainty, if there was a muffler here, um, this would be not easy. Um, I've got, of course, an extension on mine because this is half inch to three eighths, but there's not, wouldn't be a lot of room in here from the pictures that I've seen. So um, you may have a little bit more trouble. Uh, there's some other ways to do it, but make sure that this is nice and tight. You can see there are just a couple threads left on this, but it's definitely not all the way in. So we got that. We also have about a quart. This isn't super level, but yeah, somewhere around a quart, I'd say you know, three quarters of a quart ish. Um, I put my finger in the fill side before I did this and it was, you know, right where it was supposed to be. So I'll go ahead and dump this so I don't uh, drop anything in it. And then uh, we will go ahead and start pumping. All right. So with a little bit of effort, we have the differential oil pumped in. We have the fill plug in and torqued to spec. I'll go ahead and mark it and the drain plug here in a second uh, to just be sure. Now, something uh, I wanted to note before we close this video out, these red line oils are incredible. They're great oils. The only thing I don't like about them is the bottle doesn't allow you to use these kind of universal pumps. This is designed to be able to kind of screw down onto your regular bottle. Uh, so something that I have done, because you don't want this popping out and spilling oil everywhere, is wrapping it in a little bit of electrical tape that can help keep it solid for you. Uh, one thing you want to make sure to do is cut some holes down here so it can still pull some air uh, and uh, and work properly for you. So that'll help you. That took me, I'll be honest with me, uh, be honest with you, way too long for me to figure that out. But uh, it's the only way that I can get it done now uh, with a red line. So job is done. We'll go ahead and get everything marked, get everything cleaned up get the car back down and we'll go for a test drive. Hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you try this job, please be careful. 
uh, make sure to consult your uh, documentation, a qualified professional, do all the safety stuff. Um, please, please be safe and enjoy your old Mercedes.